Hi right, guys. Well, it has turned into a spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful day. Or should I say beautiful sunset. Which is behind me, unfortunately. And the, uh, here in the end times, it is an exciting Saturday night beginning to unfold in the uh, party central town of Chula, Mexico. We're on Saturday night, February 18th, 2023, where I have finally having my first real self-made margarita. You know, this is gorgeous. Did I just say it was February 18th, 2023? I guess they're having the big carnival celebration in Bacalar and in, uh, and in Chetumal. But here in uh, Chulha, Mexico, all is quiet for at least now. I hear the Mayan tourist train is uh, being carved through the jungle heading our way. That this goddamn tourist train <coughs> is getting ready to be unleashed on uh, Bacalar, Laguna de Bacalar, and this little slice of paradise is getting ready to explode so if anyone wants to uh, make some money off the collapse of a planet i would highly suggest coming down here and buying some lakefront property it is uh money in the bank but right now it is what it is so uh as you know by now, I, you know, it's just really weird how, uh, you know, learning that my dear sweet ex-wife died seven and a half years ago, uh, and I just now today learned, I suspected it, but it's just weird, you know, how, uh, when somebody dies, starts you know, just dredging up a few memories you know 10 years of my life 10 years of my life pretty much uh, with that woman at the center of it and you know, hearing that she's dead and looking at a picture pretty much which was taken you know about the age when I first met her when she was some little hottie 22 year old <sighs> but, uh, it's just kind of weird. Ten years of my life with that woman. And, uh, you know, even before I found that out, I've just kept having this, uh, recurring memory of my mama, Elaine Mitchell, who used to, uh, you know, she had many sayings, uh, one of which her wise words of wisdom, which uh, I have completely ignored my entire life, is, it is not where you are, it is who you're with that uh, defines your level of happiness. And, uh, you know, I've told this story before, but... I don't give a shit if I told it before or not because I'm going to be repeating a lot of shit uh, that I've told before here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe over the next year. You know, my mother, uh, she always had this dream of, of moving to Florida and buying a little fish camp on uh, some river out in the, you know, the backwoods of old Florida. Those are her favorite place in the world to go, you know, to go canoeing and whatnot on these, uh, the, these, these rivers in, uh, you know, in the, in central Florida, not along the coast. Uh, that was always, I heard for years, her dream of 
moving, you know, she was raised in Fort Myers, Florida. So she would just be kind of going back home and uh, she never did like living in Atlanta, Georgia. I don't blame her. Never did like living in Atlanta, Georgia. She moved to Atlanta, Georgia, uh, I believe at age, I guess, 18. She moved to Atlanta, Georgia at age 18, and she died in Atlanta, Georgia at age 76. So, what is that? 58 years from age 18 till the day she died, living in a place that she did not particularly like. You know, she, she wanted to be back in Florida. Uh, living in some, you know, some little small town in Florida. Running a fish camp, but, you know, she had five kids and four of them at least uh, were, were usually living within 10 minutes of her. You can imagine the one that wasn't. And, you know, she had her friends. She had her career. She had her home that she built uh, in 1956. She died in the house she built um, in 1997. She lived in one house. She actually designed the house and uh, she was the architect and actually milled the lumber out of the trees she had to cut down to build the house. And uh, so she lived in that house from the day she built it in the 1956 till literally the night she died in 1997 and never really really liking where she lived and it used to drive me crazy as I was going all over the goddamn planet you know while she sat there in that house uh, from the day I was born till the day she died just living there while I was, you know, just rambling all over the place trying to find, you know, the perfect spot to live and all of this and uh, just bouncing around like a goddamn boomerang and uh, good God and uprooting myself and going through all of these failed relationships and, uh, you know, including including my marriage, and my mama sat right there. <laughs> Every time I would uh, go on one of these, where the fuck am I going to move to next? She would come up with her, it's not where you live, it's who you're with. Is going, that is what's going to determine your level of happiness. And here I am, 63 years old, sitting here alone on a Saturday night, drinking a margarita by myself. You know, trying to figure out, is this end of the road in Nowhereville in Chulha, Mexico, going to be it? Ah. <sighs> And now I'm getting ready to go check out a town smaller than Chulha. Go check out Buena Vista, Mexico, because Chulha is getting too big. And, uh, <laughs> just, uh, thinking, what the fuck am I going to do with myself for three, four months per year? in Buena Vista, Mexico, literally, literally, at the end of a dirt road, living in some little, uh, I guess basically living in an old camper, living in an old camper at the end of a dirt road uh, in the middle of fucking nowhere. They don't even have taxis in this town. Uh, what the fuck do I think I'm going to do with my life for three to four months? And, uh, uh, shit. You 
you know, carrying around this fucking fantasy. If I can just find a woman, if I can just find a woman to uh, drop everything she's doing with her life and go move into a beat up old camper at the end of a dirt road in Buena Vista, Mexico. <laughs> For several months per year that, that that's what I need and then I think of traveling with my dear sweet ex-wife uh, <laughs> she and I we did not travel well together oh god I remember when we spent a week in Mula Hay Mexico down at the bottom of Baja, California, we drove all the fucking, we, you know, we were living in Santa Cruz and, <clears throat> and on our vacation we drove all the way to the fucking, pretty much the bottom of Baja, California, hanging out in this little, what, in, you know, in the early 1980s was this little village in Mexico at the end of a dirt road. Uh, where even then you could get goddamn good margaritas. They, you, you know, I remember the margaritas they served in Mula Hay, Mexico, and uh, well, 40 years ago, how good those margaritas were. And you still can't get a margarita in Chula, Mexico. But anyway, and uh, I remember she was. We had been down there for several days, and she was talking about, you know, that it was about leaving the next day, about packing up and leaving. And I reminded her that she had lost track of the days and that we weren't leaving the next day, but, you know, we had another day to spend uh, in Mula Hay, Baja, California. And it was, uh, it, it was you, you know, she was about as excited to uh, hear that news as she, she was, uh, to, you know, to get a uh, diagnosis of a kidney infection, I guess. Uh, I, I mean, just just the thought of her having to suffer one more day at this beautiful little village, and uh, and we were on the beach, you know, on the on the Pacific Ocean beach, in this little oasis, this little palm lined oasis on the beach in Mexico hanging out drinking margaritas and uh, at, in about three days she was absolutely bored shitless absolutely bored shitless and all she wanted to do was get the fuck back to Santa Cruz you know back to her friends back to her house back to her dogs uh, oh God. You know, that's when we were in our 20s. So, uh, I learned early in that marriage that, uh, we were not good travel partners. And, uh, you need to choose your travel partners very carefully. So, I guess anyone wondering where my travel partner is, uh, my travel partner, he and I have parted parted ways on good terms. Uh, he's down there. My buddy is down there checking out the big city of Chetumal, Mexico. He, he's about 10 miles from here. Uh, he's about 10 miles from where I am in Chula on a completely different planet. You know, I'm 15 minutes from the Walmart where I'm sitting at, on the terrace of this abandoned house. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he, he's about 20 minutes from here on an entirely different planet. And uh, I wish him well. He, he's, th he's, thinking about, uh, he's thinking about moving to a city of, I think he told me there were 150,000 people. So he's going to be moving to a city of 150,000 people, and I'm talking uh, about moving to a town, well, Chulha has 2,000, but I think Buena Vista has half the people of Chula, so let's call it 1,000. 
So while he's hanging out in a city of 150,000 people going to all of these restaurants and whatever, uh, I will be living in a beat up old camper in Buena Vista. But I understand that one of the things I have to check out is the internet connection. So I'm going to go spend a couple of nights there and uh, at least my buddy should understand this. I mean, if I get to the end of this uh, godforsaken lonely dirt road uh, out in the middle of fucking God knows where nowhere, and they have a uh, and they have a good internet connection, uh, what else matters? You know, I can just sit for three or four months a day. You know, I can uh, get up, make a cup of coffee, uh, surf the net all day long, and then in the evening make a margarita, sit there and enjoy a margarita. Then when it gets dark, surf the net until I'm ready to go to bed. I, and that's what I would be doing. That's what I will be doing for three or four months, hours and hours per day, sitting there alone in paradise with my thumb up my ass, surfing the net. Oh, God. You know, which is exactly what my dear sweet ex-wife uh, would, would uh, been doing as well. You know, there, when we were in Mulahe, of course, there was no internet in the 1980s in Mulahe, Mexico. But had there been, she probably would have been totally happy. So we will see if... If I can be sitting there alone every Saturday night with my thumb up my ass, alone in paradise, surfing the net, looking for doomer chicks. Oh, fuck love. Love. Friendship. It's not where you are, it's who you're with. You know, and that, of course, you know, my friends in Austin, uh, you know, that was the greatest bunch of friends that any person could ever hope to have in their entire life in Austin, Texas. Uh, so, uh, I will be in Austin, Texas in two weeks from tonight. I will be back in Austin with my dogs and my friend, my dog and my friends. I'm going to spend the month of March in Austin, Texas, hanging out at the South by Southwest Music Festival. Good God, I talk about Carnival and Chetamal, Mexico being too much, too much uh, whatever for me. And I'm talking about going to one of the single biggest parties on the planet. When is that? In four weekends, I guess four weekends, I will be, instead of sitting alone on a, the terrace of an abandoned house in the collapse of the Mayan Empire, I will be uh, ripping it up on a Saturday night in one of the single biggest parties on the planet, South by Southwest Music Festival. Looking for my Doomer chick forever. <laughs> oh, God. So if any Doomer chicks uh, want to come hang out at the... Uh, want to come hang out with me at the, the South by Southwest Music Festival, uh, we have to figure out where we'll live. But uh, the invitation is open to any Doomer chick listening to this. If you don't want to come join me on the roof of this uh, abandoned house in uh, Chula, Mexico, 
come join me at the South by Southwest Music Festival. And uh, we'll see if we can find something to entertain ourselves. You know how to find me, Doomer Chicks. Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. Oh, man. Chumming the water for Doomer Chicks. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right. I will have a toast to my dear, sweet ex-wife. Here's to you, darling. Who was it who said, hopefully, uh, was it Paul who said, uh, hopefully, she is enjoying a ham sandwich in heaven. <laughs> I hope that woman has all the ham sandwiches she can eat wherever she is. Get out there and be with the ones you love while you still can. My guys. <laughs> 